Hello, I'm Nicole from iPad Calligraphy and today I'm going to show you how to make a frame very similar to this or basically this frame um, using stamp brushes. So the shapes and ornament brushes uh, have been out for a while but I've recently just updated them with a new set of catchwords. So I really love catchwords. I think they can be um, a lovely design addition. So we're just going to make this piece here and I'll show you how how easy that is to bring these shapes together um, to make really interesting decorative frames. So first of all you just want to get your colour palette set up. We're keeping it really simple with a dark colour and a light foreground colour. So you could use just black and white if you like. I'm using just off black and just off white. So for the darker colour I've got 1D, 1D, 1D. Um, to get into that hex decimal you just need to click on your colour palette and down the bottom here you see this value option. So just tap in there, tap in this little hex decimal box here and type 1D, 1D, 1D. That's our dark colour. And then um, our, you can save that in your colour pal palette just by clicking a little box here and that just preset, that saves that preset in the box there. Uh, for the light colour, the um, hex decimal is E2, E2, E2. Nice and simple. Um, right, so let's get into creating this frame. I've got um, some typography that I've set up earlier. Um, this is using a font, so I've just bought this in. Um, and I want to create, it's sort of more uh, old school, sort of uh, Victorian look. Um, so uh, I could use some of the other stamps that uh, the catchwords for and so above and beyond I've got this sort of style or this sort of style but I'm gonna go for um, the ampersand so I'm just scrolling through until I find the one I want and now I'll scale my brush down to a reasonable size create a new layer just by press it, pressing the plus there and that's a bit big, so I just need to scale that down a little bit further until it's a reasonable size and press the um, plus, uh, sorry, the arrow to just nudge that into the middle. So it's centered both horizontally and vertically. And now I wanna add um, some flourishes to the outside of that. So I'm just gonna go into the motif brushes um, and motive brush four is quite nice for this. So I'll just stamp that along here. It could maybe be a tiny bit bigger. Two fingers for undo. And also I wanna create that on a new layer just so I can nudge it around. So there you go, just stamp it on and you've got a lovely um, design there. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer by swiping to the left and pressing duplicate. And then I'm going to select the arrow tool. So that's that top layer. There's another one underneath, but we've just got the top layer selected at the moment. And I'll flip that horizontally. So now that just makes like a reflected um, version of that motif there, which really balances nicely. So we'll move on to the frame now. Um, so that's my, my typography group. It's in a group, that's great. That's, um, I'll just create a layer on top of that, leave that as it is. And now what I need is the shapes outline because I'm gonna create the diamond shape um, in the outline first. So I'll go to the diamond outline and just stamp to see how big that is. And I need that a bit bigger. So I'm just gonna up the size a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, maybe a tiny bit bigger. So you can even do this rather than changing your brush size. You can just do that by holding um, pinching outwards and then um, deselect off the arrow. You don't want to do that too much because you start to see the edges blur. So um, just be relatively uh, restrained with doing that kind of way of scaling. Um, and now I've made a duplicate of that, just the same way the swipe on the layer and duplicate. And then I'm going to scale this down and just nudge it so there's a bit of a border between the two versions here. So that's pretty centered, that's pretty good. Okay, and select off there. And now we just want another little outline um, on the inner version. So same again, just nudge, uh, duplicate and nudge that down. So it's just um, creating a little border there. So I want to do the fill of these. So I'm gonna create a new layer on the top 
And now I'm going to use a, a border. So I'll go into my borders um, and there's one I'm looking for that is this one here. So the border number nine and it's lots of little dots. So I've made sure I'm on a new layer. I'm just going to stamp that. That's a pretty good size, but I might get it a little bit bigger. Uh, and even a little bit bigger than that. Great. Okay, so now I want to put this basically in the center running from one point to one point. So I might even scale it up a tiny bit again. And it helps to do one thing at a time. So do the scale separate to the rotation so that you can just kind of get that into place because it can be a little bit fiddly. So you can see we're sort of not quite on the right angle yet. That's better. So I find it helps to have your finger prepared to sort of press off that arrow immediately when you get it because if you're using one finger and the other, it just, it can get, um, you know, you lose the position that you had uh, before. So now we're just duplicating those dots and I'm just gonna flip that horizontally and then move it into place. And now we've got like a, a dotted border filling that space, which is great. Um, so same again, I can even merge these two by pinching them together and I'm going to swipe to the left and duplicate. Now I have that, I'm going to flip uh, vertically. So I want that reflection to sort of sit on the bottom edge of the position. Try and get, watch this bit that it's lined up. So you get that in the center. That's looking good. And if any of these are bothering you, just erase zoom in there and erase that overlap dot there so that you've just got one dot in the center and that's pretty pretty aligned evenly so that's nice um, so we're going to create another layer on top and now we're going to find our square border brush sorry our square shape outline brush so within shape outlines we have all sorts of different shapes and i'm finding the square which is down the bottom there so I'll stamp that, see how big it is. No, I want that bigger. Change your brush size and stamp again. That's getting there. And I could even do a little bit smaller now. So what I want is that edge to sort of be sitting around about, it should be in the same position on both the top and the bottom and evenly centered in the middle as well. So I reckon sort of sitting around there and that's handy because we've got that little marker blue dot that helps us align that evenly. So once you're happy with its position, select off and you can always adjust as well by nudging if you wanna use small increment um, changes. So I'm gonna duplicate this border again and now I want to bring that in slightly. So it's um, the inner version of the border and kind of keeping it straight as possible um, and lining it up to make a inner border. Now what you can see going on here is we've got um, the underneath and what I'd like is for this border to cover so it's almost looks like it's solid. There's a few ways you can do that but I'm just going to do it really quick and easy by using one of the um, other shapes. So we'll just create a new layer over the top and we're going to use our darker color so go into your darker color create the shape over the top and it can sit the layer itself under the um, square border so it doesn't matter if you go over the lines and of course we actually need to change our brush so um, it, it's really not a problem what you decide to use because as you can see we just want to fill this area in so you're not erasing anything you're just um, going over the top with your background color so it looks as if it's been erased and if you make any changes to your background down the line you can always just change this shape color as well and it will look fine you won't even notice so just make sure you stay within the lines there I'll do this side now you could do that um, as well by, if you wanted to merge all of your um, under layers, like the diamond and the border, you could merge that and you could also add a layer mask and then just non-destructively, um, you know, extract that. So now that looks better. We can, we can see that that frame's coming over the top. It looks like the frame's coming over the top. So that's what we want. 
Um, so going back onto the top layer now, we're going to create another layer and go into the motifs set. Um, so within this motif set, there is this motif 24. Uh, and I just need to change my color back. So that's handy when you've got the um, preset colors. You can just click straight on there. So that was a bit big. I'm just going to take my brush size down. Not that much. Uh, a bit bigger than that. Just a bit of experimenting. So this one I'm going to place in the center there. And I want these dots to continue on. So there's a couple of things. I could either go back to my dot brush, which is around the same sort of look and feel, or I can just basically make a duplicate of that and erase the overflow so that it just stops right there. Um, when you do that though, just make sure you're lining it up. So that was pretty good where it was. So I'll duplicate that and now put it on the other side just to fill out that other side here. You can always zoom in by um, two fingers uh, to just move around your canvas, which just helps you kind of see what you're doing a little better. Okay, so now we've got those. I want to merge these layers together and make another duplicate and then move this down to the bottom. So that's fairly straightforward. There we have it. And then I'm going to do again to the side. So I've just duplicated that layer. I'm going to now rotate that 45 degrees and move it. So one thing um, to note is if you're rotating something and it's coming off the canvas and you deselect it, um, Procreate will assume that you want to crop uh, the layer that's going outside of the screen. So you won't be able to then bring it back in and still retain the layer just for future reference. So if you want the whole layer there, just be careful to move it into position before you deselect. Okay, so that's looking good. There's just one final addition that we want to add and that's those motifs at the top and bottom. So if I go back into my motif uh, set, I can see this motif 11 is what I want. Um, so I'm going to select that and just make the brush around that size and give that a stamp. That's pretty good, maybe just a little bit bigger. So I'll just undo that with two fingers and stamp again. And I can line that up with the center point here. And then I'm just going to swipe to the left and duplicate and then just flip this vertically and move it to the bottom. And there you have it. So we've got a really nice looking detail frame very, very easily. So, um, you know, even if you don't have this pack, I hope this uh, inspired you to create some really lovely looking lettering and art. And um, I'd love to see what you create. Thanks again for watching.